Well, she's lived in LA for six years, where she's performed with Beyonce, Justin Bieber, and Chris Brown. The choreographer and dancer Rena Che joins us now in the Harvey Norman Lounge to tell us all about her incredible career, as well as her one night only show tonight in Auckland's Aotea Square. Welcome, Rena. Hi. It is an absolute ple pleasure to have you here. So fun. Thank you for having me here. Well, no, well, we like to have people that have achieved a lot in their lives, and when you read an intro like that, that is some achievement. So tell us about yeah. your six-year journey in L.A. Oh, actually, uh, that, went so, that went by so fast. I can't remember how it all happened so quickly and gone so quickly. Um, but to sum it up, it was amazing. I, you know, like, pretty much was raised here in Auckland, and then one day they started to pack my bags all up, and they started to go... I want to dance with some famous people and become <laughs> the dancer I want to be and pursue my dream. And that, was, that wasn't exactly like the easiest journey to take. Mm. But now yeah. I look back, it was definitely worth every day, minute of it. Mm. Because the thing is, a lot of people would have that same dream. Thousands. But, but thousands. to actually achieve that dream, so you land in LA with your bags. Right. How do you go about getting into all those shows? How do you, how do you start it all? I didn't know. So I just, you know, stuck myself into a studio, taking class after classes, and then some you know, people, choreographers and teachers that saw me and saw the potential was actually were actually like, you know, you should meet this person, you should audition for this person, and you should get in with this agency. They, you know, introduced me to the right path, luckily. So I know there were like thousands of dancers that, you know, all pursue the same kind of dream, but I think it really takes like a motivation and a drive to, right. you know, make things happen, as you would know. Mm. What, what advice would you give to perhaps parents that have got young people that are dancing now and they obviously want them to, you know, be in that same position you have? What advice would you give them? Support them. Absolutely. I think support is like the biggest thing. Like a belief, absolutely, uh, is another thing that the dancers would need because the path to the journey isn't exactly all flowers, you know? Mm. Like it's actually really tough and they'll probably have more tough times than the happily satisfying, you know, yeah. the successful moments. A lot of hard work in there, isn't there? It, exactly. So I think they really need some love and support and belief to say that, you know, you can achieve this. Just. But Keep but then you going. get to, then you get to where you are, and is it true that you actually turn you had to turn down dancing with Beyonce once? That's a crazy story. I actually cried about that. Yeah, what, what, <laughs> so would I. So Don't I, worry. Wait, I actually cried about so that. It was really sad. So I already booked this like big national commercial in the states, and national commercials that you know they pay so much mm. money, and it was it was great, and I was really excited to be a principal person on this commercial. But I knew that there was a Beyonce audition going on and because I was already booked on the job and it was clashing, my agency did not let me know about this audition. <laughs> and, you know, to be honest, like, it wasn't really about the money at the, at the time, you know. I was like, well, National Commercial Beyonce, of course I want to be on dance with Beyonce. And this is when she was doing Run the World. So oh. I went to the audition. Oh, really? I went to the, I crashed it. I wasn't invited. <laughs> so I crashed the audition. I found out and I took my big heels, you know, because she's a lot taller than I am and her dances have to be five, five and up. And I was just sitting on that cute five, four. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever it was her auditions, I used to take like the biggest high heels with me to fake the height. <laughs> I'm gonna put this Good up. on you. Good on you. <laughs> um, so I auditioned and immediately the choreographer saw me, who was choreographing at the time. It's not the same one right now. He saw me and he was like, Snow White. He calls me Snow White all the time. Snow White. Sign up here. They're like on, you know, put your name and your agency name and your email address there. You're on. So I literally walked out of the audition within an hour with a job with Beyonce on the biggest stage. So I called my agent and I said, listen, I, don't, I know you're going to hate me for crashing this audition, but I did. And I booked the job with Beyonce. And I don't care what you say, but you can, you can probably you know, go back to the director of the National Commercial now and tell them that. Tell them that I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not available. <laughs> I'm injured. Whatever. Because <laughs> I want to dance with Beyonce. And they were like, absolutely not, oh. Rina Che. Oh. oh. Rina Che, absolutely not. So you never got to do it? Well, I didn't get to do that one. And oh. then when, the, when she was doing the music video for Wonder World, I got a call and this was my one day off. So I was in Melrose shopping and they were doing like last minute calls for dancers. <laughs> so I get this like phone call from the choreographer going, Rina Che, what are you doing right now? Because you need to be on set for Beyonce's music video in two hours. 
Excellent. Oh. That's a dream story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold that log. Hold that log. We'll get the rest of the story in just a minute. There's so much I want to find out too about Rena Che. What an incredible career. She's doing a show tonight. We'll give you the details in just a minute. We'll be back straight after this. <laughs> Welcome back. We are here with Rena Che, superstar. Now, we left you mid-story where mm. you were on Melrose and you had been told to get on set for the Beyonce video. What happened next? Right. I, you know, it was just like my day off, so I wasn't exactly looking cute either. I was in some, like, dumb PJ type of clothes and, and hair in a messy bun and I had no makeup on. I was wearing sunglasses. I did not, could not bring myself to go on set looking like that, you know, and image is a, lot, is a big thing in Hollywood. So there was no way I was going to show up looking like that. And I, and I was like, oh, I, I can't do it. So you didn't do the video with Beyonce? The biggest you know, star I in the world. I know, why does it sound so <laughs> crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good story. But you know what? It was never end, meant to be. Yeah, but in the end, I got to dance with her, and, I, and I'm really grateful that she still Excellent. gave me a chance after all these mishaps. <laughs> hey, you know what we need to talk about, though? Your show that you're performing tonight, K pop night tonight. Oh, yes. So, for those who don't know what K pop is, it is Korean pop. And it's actually now a global sensation. Mm, my huge. son is obsessed with yeah, it. My it is. son is obsessed with K-pop. I didn't know how Exo, big it BTS, was. BTS, the band. Right, Monster X. <laughs> so I'm I'm an agent for a Korean record label as well as a choreographer for them. Uh, so I work with a lot of uh, K-pop artists. And now, tonight, we are having back-to-back -back two K-pop shows, 20 minutes long, uh, put on by the Auckland Live. Uh, it's also a part of the, the satellites team that do events like all around Auckland. Cool. Nice work. Well, it's going to be fantastic. And you, honestly, we have to get you back because there's so much that we need to ask you <laughs> yes. about your career. Good storyteller. Keep it going. You're a great yeah. storyteller. Keep it going. Have a fun time tonight. Rena performs K-pop night tonight. And you can check out all the details for the rest of the Auckland Live Summer in the Square Festival on the Auckland Live website. Thank you so much, Rena. Yeah, thank you. Again, thank you for well, having thanks me. Thanks for coming yeah. in.